Hey everybody, welcome to Power Podcasters. I'm Scott Patton, the Dean of Blogonomics and Pedology, and I'm really excited to have you, and I'm even more excited to have my special guest today, Sabrina Dabrowski. She's from Wisconsin, but she is in Sydney, Australia. She is living her dreams, and <laughs> I like to say that it's all because of me. I know it's not, but uh, I'm going to take the credit here, if that's okay. Hey Sabrina, how are you doing? That is a great intro, Scott. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know if I can live up to that, but I'll certainly try. Well, you you started a podcast, and it was Sexy and Six, and then you started another one, Get Fit to Get Laid, and yeah. that changed everything. So before we get into those specific topics, how did you get into podcasting? Well, there was this guy that I met in a mastermind business group. His name was Scott Patton. Yeah! <laughs> he is up giving a presentation on how podcasting is changing the way things work, marketing works, business works, how you can attract clients. And I start off listening to this going, hmm. By the end of this talk, I'm literally vibrating in my chair, shaking, going, I have to do this. I have to do this. Oh, my gosh. How do I, how do I work with Scott? <laughs> that was my first introduction to, I guess, learning about podcasting. Now, I think just after that, or Scott, I can't really remember, just before that, this Scott is This was a life-changing event, and you don't remember? It, Scott, I don't remember climbing the mountain. I don't remember if it was before or after the vibrating in my chair bit. <laughs> so Scott takes me up. We're on a hike. This hold, is during that hold it, hold it. Hold, no, no, no. You're the fitness, like, diva. <laughs> this, think he's still in shape but isn't guy. And you're like, oh, there's mountains. Let's climb up these mountains. And, and I'm going like, well, I can't let you go alone. There could be rattlesnakes, and nobody else, like everybody else, cleared <laughs> out. So you dragged me up this mountain, as I recall. Okay. I may have dragged you up the mountain, but you dragged me into filming my first podcast or being part of my first podcast. And it was... I was not excited, to say the least. I was not at all excited. Scott pulls out this camera. I'm sitting there sweating, right? I'm looking oh, disgusting. Right. Yeah. yeah, thanks for that, Scott. Thanks for yeah, that. You, you were exactly glowing. Exactly what a girl wants. Exactly what a girl wants. Glisten. I was glistening, glistening in the sun. <laughs> Scott says, no, 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 don't worry. It's just a minute. Just give us one fitness tip. I, I'm shaking, I'm nervous, and I'm going, oh no, oh no, Scott, how's my hair look? Am I okay? Sabrina, you're f this is no big deal. This is no big deal. You're fine. I'm just going to turn the camera and ask you a question, and you just do what you always do. You just talk. So Scott turned the camera on. I just did what I naturally do, talked away for, oh, Scott, how long was it? I think it was 15 or 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> so I ran my, out of tape, ran... so we don't know. <laughs> Scott conned me into it, and my two minutes, I discovered, was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be to talk for 15 to 20 versus what I thought was two. <laughs> so, so that was the start. That was the start. So from there, you had a, at least two that I can recall, and I think probably a few more podcasts that were incredibly successful. Right, right. So that was the start of the podcast. That was actually Scott interviewing me for a podcast he was hosting. Then I took Scott's course, I don't know how many years ago, five years ago, six, seven, I don't know. I have no we idea. We've each ago. other a while. Yeah, it has been a while. So years and years and years ago, I took Scott's podcasting course. This was the time that I was setting up my Sexy and Six business. Simultaneously kind of toying around with the idea of this other get fit to get laid business, both in the fitness industry, obviously one with, well, I should say both with kind of a slant of sexiness to it. You came at the topic from your own 
personal uh, perspective, unique perspective, I guess would be a good way of putting it, which yeah. is what sets you apart from everybody in both of those other categories. There was a lot of Sabrina Flair <laughs> to both of them. <laughs> so Sexy in Six was my primary focus, I would say. That was my big money maker. So that's the business that got me out of running a bricks and mortar personal training studio. So a fitness, like a gym, basically. Yeah, you got me out a of couple those. gyms in Wisconsin, right? Yeah, I owned a couple gyms in Wisconsin, and I was able to give them away to my business partner because uh -huh. I felt bad leaving her. Yeah, so I gave them away to her and just ran Sexy and Six and Get Fit to Get Laid. And I can say this about podcasting. 70%, at least 70% of my clients came in from podcasts. Wow. At least 70%. That was a big marketing push for me. That was a big yeah, marketing focus. Had huge numbers too, as I recall. Right. Like, right. You were pretty amazed at how many people were listening and how many downloads you were getting, and you were getting great yeah. feedback as well from your listeners, right? Well, and they were showing up all over the place. So suddenly there were people on my Facebook page and there were people reading my blog and there were people on my YouTube channel watching random videos that I was making and then the and then I put out that I was doing an online boot camp and I had all these new boot camp people and new newsletter subscribers. And when I asked them, where, where the heck did you find me? 70% said through podcasting, through hmm. iTunes. Oh, I listened to your radio show. Really? There's people actually listening to this? And I could see the numbers, but when you have people sending you emails and commenting on Facebook and just coming from random places and they're, and they're like, Oh, it's like you're a celebrity. It's like, oh, I hear, I listen to you every week on the radio. It's like, oh, yeah, I suppose. Hmm, it's really working. <laughs> uh, awesome. So, how did it grow? That you started the podcast. You were you were creating your different <laughs> episodes and everything else. Um, you did billboards, TV advertising. <laughs> Yeah, right. Product placement in blockbuster <laughs> movies. I was on such a shoestring budget, Scott, that I did I did only the free marketing. I did free stuff. That's all I did. I did content marketing. I spent $100 on Facebook ads once, and I didn't get any return. Or I didn't get the return that I wanted to get, or I didn't know what I was doing, really, to be honest. So all of my... It just grew magically in the background. I had clients from the UK, clients from Australia, basically anywhere that you can speak English. I was having people sign up for online boot camps. Nice. So magic, Scott, magic. <laughs> so one of the problems with podcasting, of course, is you need this massive studio. You need $10,000 to $100,000 worth of sound equipment. You need soundproof <laughs> walls. Uh, and everything else, so it really forced you to s stay in one place in, in order for you to be able to do your weekly show, right? Or it was me traveling through Asia on a motorbike, for instance, and holding up my iPhone and recording a video of myself, and that was it. I traveled Asia, I think I was there maybe three weeks, and I did all my podcast shows from the middle of Laos, like as long as I could find an internet connection, I was able to do all my podcasting and even do my online boot camps. So filming crazy fitness videos in the middle of Cambodia was pretty wild. <laughs> wow, that's great. <laughs> so that you was really it. It was just my Mac. So I had my Mac too. So it was the Mac so that I could do any of the processing that I needed to do and then just my phone. That was it. Wow. So you really had a... Uh... What, the, la the laptop lifestyle where you could go wherever you wanted to go, your business came along with you, but you really didn't yeah. need very much. Look, I've been a gypsy for the last six years, and that's just how I've always run my business, is minimum. I don't want all that stuff to haul right. around. This way I can travel to Asia and I can move to Australia and just, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, simple. Keep it simple. Keep it simple. Cool. So, 
you're in Sydney, Australia now. You grew up in Wisconsin. <laughs> Interesting change. Everybody wants to know, like, why did you pick Australia? Like, how did that happen? It couldn't have just been... And before we went on the air, I said, well, obviously, you you had this lifelong dream to live in Australia, and because of podcasting, you were able to uh, make it come true. <laughs> yes, there were a few other factors in there, but look, when you do say lifelong dream, I do remember being a little girl in the middle of January in Wisconsin and going... Someday, I'm going to live where there are palm trees. So, mm. I suppose, in a way, I have kind of always had a lifelong dream. I didn't know I would end up on the other side of the world in another country, but I came here five years ago and absolutely fell in love with the place and haven't, haven't been able to leave. <laughs> so, my business just transferred over to here. So, I was still running Sexy and Six, still doing all my podcasts, still doing everything from Australia. And then now it's branched out into other businesses here. But, yeah. No, oh, cool. Yeah. So one thing that I'm really curious about is whether the podcasting ever got you any radio or TV or newspaper exposure. Because uh -oh. one of the things that I think of in terms of podcasting is it's great practice and great exposure for uh, being an announcer on a radio station or that sort of thing. Right. I remember, Scott, you saying to us in the podcasting course that I took, people will find you. And I thought, that's pretty crazy. But cool, if that happens, very cool. I got an email, and the subject of the email was Playboy Radio, I don't even know what else, da 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 da, -da. I thought it was spam, because it says Playboy Radio. I'm thinking it's them selling me some sort of sex something. But I open it just in case. Dear Sabrina, we found your podcast on iTunes, and we love the content. We love what you're doing. We'd like to talk to you. <laughs> Is this for real? <laughs> Playboy Radio? So call up the number, get a hold of the producer, and start talking about the show. This was Get Fit to Get Laid. Start talking about Get Fit to Get Laid. I said to him, well, do you want to go through, like, some sort of interview questions? Like, do you want to ask me anything? He's like, no, we've listened to all of your shows. We know everything we need to know. We don't need to know anything else. We know everything about you. Everything's online. Your show's there. We know. We just want you to have your show on Playboy Radio. And... You know, how can you turn that down? <laughs> so I hosted a few shows on Playboy Radio for them as a guest radio show host. I'm not even sure what I was, but it was under the Get Fit to Gilead title. So, yeah, that was wild. Wild. Nice. <laughs> that would be really a pretty exciting experience. I was on the Playboy channel. My grandmother channel. was really happy. My grandmother was really proud. <laughs> I bet she was. I bet she was. <laughs> So, Sabrina, tell us a little bit about what you're doing now. Well, Scott, I am about to start up a new podcast under North Tracks Training and Development. So now I've shifted over into more, I guess it's more interpersonal communication skills and fitness of the mind, I would say. Mm -hmm. So really want to bring more of that into the world. So podcasts coming out along with a lot of online courses and a couple of in-person courses I think here in Sydney. Oh, cool. Which is exciting. A good place to be. An exciting place to be. All right. Well, Sabrina, I want to thank you very much for your time and, and spending time with us and sharing everything that you've shared. And my last question of, the, of, of this time with you is a simple one. What sort of advice would you give to someone who's thinking of starting up a podcast or just starting up their podcast? I would, there's a lot of advice that I'd like to give. One piece of advice I definitely want to say is it's a lot easier than you probably think it is. You'll get a lot more out of it than you 
probably think you'll get out. It's just surprising the results that you'll get and what will happen if you stay dedicated to it. If you commit to doing it, you know, I think, Scott, you say you recommend doing it on a weekly basis. I would absolutely recommend sticking to that and just do it. Give it time and see what happens because you'll see numbers that you just never expected and people will show up from all over the world <laughs> wanting to buy something from you. <laughs> so that's, that's probably my advice is just stick to it and get over the mental barrier of, oh, this might be hard or, oh, this is so time consuming. It's, it's easy. It's easy. Wonderful. Thank you very much for joining us, Sabrina. I really appreciate it. It's been great to reconnect, and I can't wait to hear more about your adventures in Australia. And thank you, everybody, for joining us. We really appreciate you, too. And if you've got any questions, you can get a hold of me at powerpodcasters.com, and we'll see you in the next Hangout. <laughs>